May profits be upon you. I want to take a look at Aussie yen. I'm just jumping right into it, right? Skip all the pleasantries, right? Um, Aussie yen at the extremes. You see the scores here, uh, it, they, uh, it, it, the strength is above two, like uh, CAD, like NZD. You see how it uh, dropped off a little bit in strength, but it is so extremely strong right now at, at scoring above uh, two, you know, doubling that and, and more. You know, you have to look at that as an extreme, look for longs in, in this market, right? And uh, you look for shorts in the, at the extreme on the other side. Uh, yen has gotten weaker since last week, ranking the, the lowest again and getting weaker. Uh, and euro is also weak, uh, getting weaker from last week as well. All right, so you want to match the top two or three with the bottom two or three, right? That's the way, you, the way it works. The deal with Aussie yen, uh, no, excuse me, the deal with uh, the Aussie is that is it, it's an overextended market. And that you can see in the monthly. This is the way the monthly candle is about to close. And we have four days until that happens, four days until this very aggressive bullish candle closes. The thing is, is that it's, it's, it's at an extreme and it could turn around at any time right now. And this would be a good time for it to start to correct. Why? Because next week there will be the Aussie interest rate decision. Also, this is the final week of, of the first quarter. All right, a lot of profit taking gonna be taking place with the uh, institutions and everything. And that's gonna make the, the markets very volatile. You want to you want to look out for those kind of things, those, those kind of market conditions, right? All right, yeah. Normally, I'd be looking for price to continue bullish, all right, just on a normal basis. But because it's so overextended, this thing could turn around at any time for a correction. All right, we may see uh, price want to create a bull flag and then continue with the bullish trend you know we you know but after every impulse you have to expect a correction and then another the next impulse right so here's the deal price only turns around at order bots all right uh, bullish or bearish all right so we're going to look for supply and demand zones for price to uh, potentially turn around in. Where, what, what are we noticing now? Price has just taken out these relative equal highs here, all right, between these two. Price just took it out, boom, all right? That liquidity is done, done, son. All right, so price is going up further into what? Some kind of zone of supply. Well, we'll look right here. This is on the supply right here. On the monthly now, this is the monthly time frame, and we're well past the 50% of this zone of supply. What does that mean? This has been mitigated here already one time, and now we're further up. What it indicates to me, what it looks like to me, price is not going to be held here. All right, we may be this this uh, zone is look like it's going to get broke, broken. All right, what we want to do is take a closer look at the price action and see if there is a potential for price to turn over here, start turning over here and start forming a, a, uh, a pullback of some kind, you know, a correction, all right? Bear in mind what, what is coming up next week and bear in mind, this is the uh, end of quarter one. I'm sorry for the shifting. Now, as far as a target on the, the monthly, I'm looking at this, zone of supply right here all right from here to here all right and this will be starting at uh 92.68 all right 92.68 92.69 all right let's call it 92.6 or 92.7 all right so uh, uh th that's the zone i'm looking at that i, I believe price will want to tap in because this is the uh the next zone of supply the thing is is that price is you can see at with this wick here, you can see with this wick that price has already gone into this area. This was a fair value gap that price came back and filled. So we're already tapping into it. So I'm looking at the 50% mark of this uh, supply zone up here. 
All right. That's the far off target. You understand? So keep that in mind. I gave you the, uh, the, the number for it. All right. And uh, you know what? I'm going to put a, a little mark there. All right. It doesn't have to be that hard. Okay. That. All right. So uh, we're dealing with this supply zone right here. Let's go down to the, to the weekly. Can we refine this zone a little bit? Sure. Sure, we can. I want this to be black. All right, so I'll know that uh, that's something that we're looking at uh, for later. All right, this zone, I'm going to refine because we're already up in this zone, already all up in it, right? We're going to refine it to an area that has not been mitigated here, here, and uh, uh, we would we would look to see. For, look for a reaction there. And that's exactly what we're getting as price has reached this zone, all right? And we see that it has reacted here. Now, what we wanna do is find out, is this a potential area that price may start to turn around in? That's all, a potential area that price could start to turn around because that's what we're looking for, right? All right, after this correction, I just need you to know the way I do it is after a, an impulse, I'm always looking for the correction. All right, and I use Fibonacci tools to do that. All right, all right. I'm making note that we made a higher high here. All right, after a pullback, we made a higher high. And what do you expect after a break of structure to the upside? A return to impulse. That's exactly what it did. And we return to this area here, and uh, price continued up higher from here. This is where I want to check. Uh, I want to measure the correction the possible correction, all right? Just imagine, let me, if I can just figure out what I'm doing, all right? I'm always looking here, all right? The 50% mark of a trading range where the higher low is made and the higher high is made, this is your trading range, right? And I'm looking at the this area in two parts. Above the 50 is premium price, below the 50 is discount prices. What institutions like to do is wait until that pullback comes past the 50% so we can get, so they can get a discount price for longs. All right. That's, that's, that's the, the way they use trends, higher highs and higher lows. They wait for price to pull back into the, to the uh, discount area, then take that high and ride profits all the way up. Right, I'll oh, take that low, excuse me, and ride profits all the way up to the new high. All right, and I'm always looking uh, in uh, for price to come at least 62% back into it. And we, we can see that there is structure here, structure here at the 50% that uh, uh, could draw price to it. And we have fair value gap. We have an imbalance that needs to be filled, okay? So there's reasons for price to want to pull back here. That's why I'm looking at it. It's fertile ground for it, all right? Doesn't mean it's going to happen, just something I'm looking for. Why am I talking so loud? All right, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm starting to get passionate. Excuse the passion. Don't excuse the passion. Just embrace it. Okay, all right, so let me get rid of this. All right, so what am I looking at here? I'm looking here for potential uh, uh, signs that price may be shifting from bullish to bearish momentum. Let's take a closer look at it on a daily. Does this tell us anything? Yes, we had a reaction once it reached this refined uh, uh, higher time frame zone of supply, right? Had a reaction. And if you look closely, you can see that there was a rejection, an, but the, uh, the, the uh, buyers brought that price back up, all right? The, 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 it's not a convincing look to see, to say, hey, we're, we're turning bearish. Nope, buyers are still here, all right? Let's, let's take a, a closer look at the price action on the four hour. And what, what I'm gonna bring to notice is higher highs, higher lows, all right? And what do I wanna see? I wanna see a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, and then a breaking of that swing low. All right, that would indicate to me that price is changing character and that I would be expecting a pullback into this leg of structure, this impulsive bearish leg for 
price to give me an entry for a loan. The, uh, with change of character uh, trades, they are aggressive. Make no mistake about that. And this is counter to the trend. All right. So what am I? What I'll be looking for is more than just one break of of a, a short term low. All right. And that pullback. I'll be looking for two of those. I'll be looking for a break of structure, a BOS, not a change of character, but a BOS to confirm that price intends to go lower. So, and I'll be looking for that on the 15 minute time frame. Let's go to the 15 minute time frame, shall we? Being that we're on the subject. All right. What are we noticing here? What are we looking at with prices entered into our POI, our zone? All right. We had a reaction. You can see the short term lows. After breaking the high, we break that low. All right, that is a change of character. Usually, uh, if this is pro trend, I would take as soon as it as soon as the price pulls back up into this area, um, uh, I would take a uh, a short here. But because this is counter trend, I'm looking for more than that. I'm looking for a break of structure here. Is where I would be looking for price to break this area all right short term low short term low short term low fine all right as price comes down here uh it breaks all of those and then we finally get a break of a, a what i would call a really a really legitimate uh, a pullback this is more legit let me tell you that right now this is a, a higher high after we, we broke this high all right H higher low higher high, this is one leg of structure. This would be a break of structure to me, all right? On the 15 minute time frame. all right? This is still breaks. All these up here are still uh, breaks of character, but, but this one here is significant for me, a significant break. Oh, there's still a short-term low in my eyes, all right? But it's still a significant break. And once we break that, price does come back up, but it doesn't come back up uh, to 62%. If you just, eyeball this with your Fibonacci. This, this pullback is like maybe 50%, just a little above it, but not 62. I don't know, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for this, this, uh, this zone, this area here, uh, the fair value gap to be closed. This is an imbalance here, all right? This little area here, and I'm looking for that to be closed. So I didn't, I wouldn't have taken this one, all right? But uh, price did, come down, did finally come up into that area. And this is where you want to take your trade. All right, take a short. All right, this is legit in my eyes. All right, a lot of, a lot of good stuff to get here. This is your, uh, where the buying to, and the selling, the aggressive selling starts leaving behind a, an imbalance. This is a uh, classic, uh, uh, a classic, uh, order block for me and it what did it accomplish it broke these short-term lows here all right that's what it accomplished that's what it did so order block that did something all right and i gave you all the reasons just just now why i thought it was uh, uh valid all right and you could have took a valid trade from it all right here boom this one broke this low okay so uh this this uh zone of supply is very valid. We come back up here to it again, creating what? Equal, uh, relative equal highs, all right? But uh, actually this one, this one actually uh, took out this one, all right? So forgive me. All right, so uh, the relative equal highs were actually made here before uh, price, the relative equal highs were here one, two, all right, and price came back up and took that out, all right? Now, on the 15 minute, I need you to recognize something, all right? We did come, to, we did uh, give a, a change of character more than a couple of times here, all right? We didn't get a full pullback, but price did take that low again, all right? Breaking, breaking this low and then coming back up. We finally got our return to impulse, taking that low out, okay? You're with me so far, right? 
Does this pr does price look like it's demonstrating that it wants to go lower it, at this point? Yes, but then it comes out, takes that high out, pulls down. All right. Why didn't it go all the way down? Why didn't it go all the way down? Why didn't it break this low like this one did? It broke that low. Why didn't it do that? You don't ask why. You just recognize what happened. We have a weak high here because it didn't make a new low. All right, weak highs get what? Ran for liquidity. That's exactly what happened, all right? Now, I'm looking at this low being broken. This is a two candle pullback, all right? On, on, on a smaller scale, this is legit. Uh, you understand? A legitimate pullback, all right? And, and it's tradable, but I need more. I'd rather see this one get broken. I'd rather see this one get broken, all right? This was a legitimate higher high. A, a, a legit, a legitimate break of this high. Let's put it that way. All right, we had a pullback, and this lower high actually made a higher high. Okay, this is substructure we're talking about, right? Because right, we're still in uh, this larger trading range. Let me show you this larger trading range. We're still that. So this is substructure. Okay, but. Uh, I'm recognizing the points of structure, the substructure that is being broken. All right, now, where are we with this, all this confusing stuff here? All right, what I'm looking at is this low has been broken here. All right, and what am I looking for? I'm looking for, are we going to pull back and give a head and shoulders? Because that, 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 that would be attractive to me. If we get that pullback after a break of structure, we get the return to impulse in this this area here on the lower time frame where I'll be entering in on the one hour, um, the one minute. All right, uh, I would be interested in taking this counter trend trade. All right, I'd be much more interested in a confirmation trade, being that it is counter trend, and uh, this would this would be a confirmation for me. All right, if it breaks this low and then pulls back. So I'm gonna watch how price moves here. All right, if it comes down, gives us this pullback here, I'm definitely taking this trade. I'm definitely taking this trade to the downside. All right, and taking out the uh, liquidity points along the way. And I would be targeting, excuse me, I would be targeting the 15 minute uh, targets here, and yeah, All right. And uh, on the bigger scheme of things, the, I would be looking for uh, where the last swing low was. This is a tall task. All right, what am I really looking for? I'm really looking for where price would correct to, bringing you back to the four hour. Where would price correct to? Matter of fact, let's go, to, let me bring you back to the daily. All right, remember I was telling you, you put your uh, Fibonacci here at the beginning of the move, all right? Actually, it was here, yeah, at the beginning of the move. All right, after this break of structure, we broke this structure here, all right? We broke it here to the upside. I said, we, ret we returned to the impulse and price went higher. All right, I'm looking for price to come back into this area. Like I told you, 618 past the 50%, all right, of this trading range. All right, I'm looking for price to come back down here. So if it comes down here, I, I can target down here. All right, that's a, a lot of pips. All right, if, if it comes down here, that's great. And, and I would uh, uh, trail my stop loss, of course. All right. Uh, but, uh, that is a big picture, uh, target. You understand? All right. Uh, I'm looking for price to possibly correct into next week, the, the following week after next week, the week after next week, uh, April 5th, they have the Aussie interest rate. So that would be a far off target. Now that's if that happens. Okay. The other side, the other side, I don't want to confuse you now. I'm trying to recap so you can find, 
so he can say, okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, a lot of this to clean up. Okay, so that's that side for the or for the bearer side. If price proves that it wants, if, if price demonstrates that it wants to go lower, all right. I'm, I'm looking for I'm looking for those scenarios. All right, short term and long longer term um, uh, TPs. All right. I hope that that portion. I'm hoping that you were able to follow. All right. If price decides to go higher and I was and I pointed to the uh, uh, what do you call that the um, supply zone uh, or the, the monthly supply zone that's that's above uh, up here around 9267 or whatever it is 9267 9268 all right uh, if price does that I'm looking up, up my 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 bearish setup you know the uh, head and shoulders here will be invalidated if this high is broken. If the high is broken at, let me mark it for you. If the high is broken here. Come on, man, what is that? The high is broken here at 91, 91.94, all right? That my head and shoulder uh, situation is is done, all right. I'm looking for that. You know, it's done, all right. So what 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 would I be looking at looking for, all right? Because price could turn around here. Price could turn around here, all right. I'm looking for confirmation. I'm looking for confirmation of this trade. We already had a break of struggle. I'm looking for a return to impulse, and I'm looking for it. I'm looking for that, all right. If price decides to go higher and take this out, what am I going to be looking for? I'm looking for this zone of supply to be violated, all right? And I flip my intraday trade. I'm looking for this. I'm looking for the pullback and taking a pro-trend trade with confidence, all right? What? I'm looking at the extreme of the reaction to this zone of supply. All right, we have the we have one reaction, we have this reaction, we have this reaction. Right? Uh, if a price comes down, comes back up, it's probably going to shoot straight through. All right, I'm going to be looking at this area here for a retest. You understand? Depending on where uh, price uh, f finally uh, uh, turns around and and turns bullish, I'll be looking for that retest that the retest of that area and then taking off. But that's after it breaks, after it breaks this zone. You understand? Good. I hope you understood that recap. All right, I feel better. I actually made a full video of this breakdown, and it sounded so confusing that I, I, I deleted it and did it over. Anyway, I hope that you uh, benefit from this analysis. Check out the, the other two trade, the other two uh, uh, outlook videos that I have uh, on your screen right now, the other two forecast videos and uh, have a great week you know, of trading this week, but be careful, okay?